If you want to know how to make a tool data store, see if you leave a region in your game, you have your tool still? Make sure to watch this video all the way to the end to find out how to. Hey guys, and in this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a tool data store. This is suggested by like a few people, and I was like, sure dude, why not? Um, First of all, uh, you may not notice I have a new profile picture on YouTube. I think it's very cool in my opinion. Um, second of all, I have a new keyboard. Not really new, it's like an old one from mine. My Razer one, my actual one, my mechanical one has some technical difficulties. I believe he suffers from um, broken parts. But yeah, anyways, we're fixing it, don't worry. All gonna be good, but you're gonna hear a trashy keyboard. Sorry. If you're new to the channel, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel because you will be an epic pogrified gamer and everyone wants to be that. Newbie TM. So yeah, if you want to be a member, make sure to click the blue drum button down below. And let's get started. So, all we have to do is go to game settings, go to security, and enable this one. Enable studio accesses to API services. What it does is enable studio access to game services such as data stores because everyone wants to have a data store, you know? You need that. So over here, we're going to insert a script and we're going to call it a leader stats. And then we're going to type game.players, the player added. Click on next function player and then local leader stats. So that's the sixth instance that new leader stats. Not line handle the oh folder into the player. Leader stats that name is equal to leader stats. Local owns tool is equals to instance that new bool value into the player. Owns tool dot value is equal to false. Owns tool dot name is equals to owns tool. Local money is equal to instance of new number value into leader stats. Holy smokes! In macaroni, money dot value is equals to zero. Money dot name is equals to money. And these are the basic uh, basics. Over at the top, you want to type local DSS is equals to game dot game game colon get service data store service local db is equals to dss colon get data store and then type anything you want if it's below 19 characters so uh this is newbie this is newbie tutorial for some pay a tutorial newbie and these are your basics now we're gonna make a quick tool, go to replicate a storage, go add in a tool, add in a part, and rename that part to handle, to then disable anchored, and disable can be dropped. Requires handle, well, kinda. Now you wanna go to workspace, you wanna add a part, and add a script, and a click detector. In this script, you're gonna type Script dot parent dot click detector dot mouse click colon connect function player if not player colon find player dot backpack colon find first child tool because that's our tool name then so if you do not have it um then local tool is equals to game the replicator storage dot tool Colon clone tool dot parent is equals to uh, player dot backpack. Now you want to copy these lines, copy them, delete them. If player dot leader stats dot money dot value is the same or above a hundred dollars, then you're gonna do that. Else print player player clicked but does not have a hundred dollars. Just like that. 
and now you want to do one final script you just want to actually uh, kind of update this script what we're going to be doing is go to uh over here we're going to type local owns tool data and local money data my throat really hates me oh my god um anyways so that are your variables we're going to update them so we're going to be typing local success comma error message is equals to pcal function and then we're, now we're going to type something pretty hard db is equals to nope not true owns tool data is equals to db come on get async player user id dot dot and then we're going to make a key we're going to do minus owns tool you want to copy this, paste it below, money, and money data. If success, then owns tool but value is equal to owns tool data, and money dot value is equal to money data. If this is not the case, we're going to warn our game with an error message. Now, one final thing. Game. Oh, not over there. Over here. Game. The player is the player removing. Colon connect function player. All you want to do is db colon set async. Async player dot user id dot dot. And then the key owns tool. And where you're saving it from. Player. I We're saving it from player dot. Uh, owns tool value and we're gonna copy this line we're gonna paste it below instead of owns tool you're gonna do money and instead of this you're gonna do leader stats set the money but we're not done yet we're not don't worry if player dot owns tool value is equals equals to true so if you do own the tool then game dot replicate storage dot tool colon clone the parent is equal to player the backpack if you don't uh, well we're gonna just print gave tool because player owns it then else so if you don't own it we didn't give any tool Yes. Now, he wants to do something. Um, let me think. In your part script over here, you want to type uh, player dot leader stats dot money dot value is equals to player dot leader stats dot money dot value minus a hundred. Then. Player dot leader stats nope player dot owns tool dot value is equal to true because you're gonna buy it we're gonna take away a hundred dollars you're gonna get the tool so this is all this is every single thing so let's hop in a game and test this out this is my first time joining my game as you can see we're in our game 300 fps pretty nice. We're gonna give myself. Yep, we didn't give any tool because we do not own it. Game the players. So if we try click it, it's gonna print player clicked, but does not have a hundred dollars. Game the players like newbie derpy dev. The leader stats. The money dot value is equals to five hundred. I'm gonna give us the five hundred dollars to test out. So if we click, hundred dollars away, we have our tool, and let's rejoin. I am rejoining my game, and as soon as we join, we do not even get a tool. Give tool because player owns it. Um, we don't have gotten the tool. Let me ch no, let me check. Um, if player.
Hmm, we do own it. Let's check this error out. What I'm going to be testing is equals to player colon find first child backpack. And over here, player dot character added colon connect function char. And then we're going to paste that in. And let's test this out. And I realized instead of find first child, you're gonna do wait for child. Let's test. And we're running. As you can see, we turn our game and we get our tool. As you can see, cave tool because player owns it. So this is basically the tutorial. We got our tool. Shift lock. So we got our tool. So that's very cool. And that's basically the tutorial. It saves and that's everything. So if you didn't, in fact, enjoy the tutorial, do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you all in the next video. My name is Newbie and I say peace out.